forgot to hit it quickly. Oopsies. Oh, I need to get rid of this again. Hide. Goodbye. Yeah, my camera decided to be a little funky boy today um, when trying to boot up for stream. So that was fun. But hello, friends. <laughs> happy Monday. Happy first day of school for some people, like my students. Today was their first day of school. Um, I only saw like five students today, which I was like impressed that not many students like popped in. Um, so yeah, it was, it was interesting. Uh, granted, I was working remotely today, so I did not see... I couldn't take any in-person students, but still. Um, I was sick, but just got, it's just a cold. My strep and COVID came back negative. Um, well, that's good. Also, hi, Peachy. Uh, sorry that you're sick, but glad it's not, like, COVID or strep, so that's good. Uh, hopefully, stream will make you feel a little bit better. Sunflower shirt. Thank you! Yes, there's also, like, little skulls on the sunflowers, like you can see. Um, I try not to wear, like, my skull, anything with skulls, like, to work, like, physically in work. Um, like, I try to wear them, like, when I'm at home, um, and not, like, in office. Because, like, when I'm home, like, I only, I will only see students, but when I'm in office, like, I see other people, like, the deans and stuff. So I try to make it a little bit more professional. Um, but, like, yes, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Hope. Hope everyone else is doing well. So amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, friend. Uh, I'm, I'm happy I get to wear, like, my Hot Topic shirts for work. Um, makes me really happy. Because, uh, like, professional work attire, it just isn't my vibe. Sorry. It, it just isn't. It's not my vibe. Um... Yeah, um, but I got, I, it was like a productive, it was a relaxing productiveness today. Besides me burning my chicken tendies, which I'm still kind of mad about. But like, because I think like, I made it, first of all, they were half frozen, which was mistake number one, but I was hungry and I did not have time to wait for them to fully dethaw. Um, two, um... I think the oil was too hot. I think part of it was the, it was not, they were not unthawed enough, so they didn't get to fully cook. But thankfully, the microwave uh, made them cooked all the way through. So I didn't actually burn them, burn them all the way. It was just like the, the coating on them that got burned and not the actual chicken tendy. Ripping piece tendies. They're still very good. They're still good with ketchup, which I'm going to figure out how to bring ketchup to work tomorrow. Because <laughs> I have like two containers of chicken tenders in my fridge. And I kind of need to eat them with ketchup. <laughs> um, yeah, today is, this week is the week I'm going to try not to buy anything on campus. Uh, for the sake of, <clears throat> I'm trying to save up for a VR headset. Strictly so I can play Beat Saber. Strictly so I can play Beat Saber. <clears throat> I think there's like one or two other games for VR that I'm interested in. But I think that's it. I think... I think he's, I think, yeah. But, like, besides my chicken tendies, like, going up to shit, um, I did laundry. And had to put my laundry away because it was laying here on the floor and I don't need y'all seeing that. Uh, so it's currently laying on my bed instead. That's where it is right now. Um, thankfully it's not a whole lot of laundry. I'm trying, like, to stay on top of things because, like, now that I work two days from home, like... I have 8.30 to 9.30 in the morning, which is where I, like, start and check emails. I don't meet with students until 9.30. So, like, I put a load of laundry in the morning in the wash. And then, like, by the time I start seeing students, it'll be in the dryer. So, like, I'm trying to, like, start a schedule. Is there a pimple here? Why? Mm, yeah, it's under the skin. Mm, fun. Um, so, I did that. Cooked chicken tendies. I cleaned up my desk. I put six th six packages in the mail for Etsy stuff, um, and I got another order, like, literally 20 minutes ago. Uh, and Doctor Who has finished two of my emotes. I'm waiting on the third, which is the animated one, so that's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, but the other emotes should be done and in my, my mitts, my, my grabby hands soon. So by Thursday's stream, we should have them up and running. Which is the Connor hype, and then the Angie nines. Oh boy, <laughs> very excited! But tonight's stream, 
is Doki Doki, uh, because y'all voted on it in the Discord server. So if you didn't want me to play this game, you should have voted for a different game. And I was really hoping that no one would ask me to play this game. But that's kind of my mistake, because I put it in the poll. That was my, that was my mistake. <laughs> um, I've been told there's a trigger warning for suicide in this game. I have no idea where the trigger warning happens. I just know it occurs at some point. Do I know where? No. Um, and I usually like to play games where I don't know what's happening. Uh, I love Doki Doki. Okay. So you're going to be my guide. You're going to be my friend. Because I'm going to be asking a lot of questions. All characters in this game are over the age of 18. Oh, is this going to be horny? I really don't want this to be horny. <laughs> this game is not suitable for children who are easily disturbed. Um, as long as this is not analog horror, we'll be fine. Because analog horror, like, disturb, like, bugs the living shit out of me. And now this pimple on my shoulder is going to bug the living shit out of me. <sighs> okay. Individual suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. Okay, I should really not play this game. <laughs> I mean, granted, my anxiety could possibly stem from ADHD if I do get diagnosed with it. I'm in the process, or like, my coworker just got diagnosed through a university because, like, our university like does like an ADHD like diagnosis thing, um, where the PhD students like make their reports and everything, which is really cool. Um, but she's going to send me linkies so that I can get diagnosed to see if I have it because I'm kind of convinced at this point, but I would like an actual diagnosis before, like, I start saying, I have ADHD. Um, but, like, I feel like I do exhibit symptoms of, or, I don't know if they're called symptoms, traits of ADHD, but, like, that could be placebo, that could just be my brain doing a placebo on me. I don't know. Um, so here, here's what we'll do. We'll play tonight. And if I'm like thoroughly intrigued, we'll keep playing. If this game causes me too much anxiety, then we'll just do this as a random game night and we'll move on. We will declare pseudo victory and then move on. Would you like to review detailed content warnings which contain spoilers? Alternatively, in-game content warnings can be enabled in the settings. Um, first of all, as a note, I think this is really cool how they're being upfront with what the game's content is going to be containing. Um, there's a game that just came out called As Dust Falls that does something very similar um, where a chapter deals with, I think, also suicide, and it gives you the option to skip that chapter of the story completely. Um, so that's, I think that's pretty, pretty intuitive of game devs to do. Um, so I'm going to say no to the spoilers, but I will go into the settings to enable it. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you have noted the game's age rating in your region and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Can I, can I have... They really suck you in. This game is not suitable for children who are e or those who are easily disturbed. I have a feeling I'm not going to like this, but we're going to try. Okay. Uh, enable content warnings. Okay, this looks good. Uh, skip unseen text. That is such... A synth clarinet. Such a synth clarinet. Oh, wait. Desktop audio got muted. There we go. I was wondering why desktop audio... Oh, it's because I muted it from last night. That's why. Alright, I guess. Hopefully that saved the settings. Yes, it did. Okay. New game. Please enter name. Great. I'm not getting game audio. You should be. Game audio is enabled. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Gray. Hey! Oh god, I have to voice act this shit? Oh god, this is Dong and Rob all over again. No! No! <laughs> 
I don't want to voice act shit. <laughs> hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but started, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase me after her like this, I must feel better off running away. However, just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Huh, <sighs> huh. I overslept again! I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you said that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Gray. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Yes, gay. We're gay. It's fine. <laughs> we're gonna make it gay. It's gonna be great. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess I don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Gray, have you decided on, on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Is there a music club? Because I will sign up for that. Dong and Rampa Literature Club Ultimate Voice Actor Gray Edition. <laughs> oh my god, y you forgot a uh, great ace slash phoenix right in there. Yolfador. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Yolf. I know you can't really talk much because it uses, like, all of your points, which makes me really sad. But still, hello. I haven't been looking, either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you joined a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry, likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting on, getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> oh god, is this, is what the COVID babies feel like? Or not the babies, but like, the students who had to go through high school during COVID, is, it, is this what this feels like? You have this is really important to me, you know. Are you hitting on me? I know you're happy now, but I died at the thought of becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. We at least promise you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if it does exaggerate everything inside of her head. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. That is me. <laughs> that is me. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed! Thank you. I'm also impressed with myself. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, you could join my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Nini? Sayori, Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was even aware that, that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to anime club. Come on, please. <gasps> Hi, Simbel. How are you, friend? Good to see you here. 
as I voice act again. I didn't think I have to do this for this game, but here we are. <laughs> Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I played this. Yeah, we turned on um, content warnings, so they'll come up. I think they're supposed to come up like as you're playing, like as something's about to happen, which is how I prefer. Um. Allow me to cut through those words. Hajime, Lex, how are you, friend? Welcome, welcome. Yes, yeah, so Mel, this is my first time playing this. Uh, chat voted on it in the discord server um out of four games this one won by seven votes or like had seven votes to it doki doki how has everyone played this game but me how has literally everyone played this game or seen this game and i have not i've avoided like all spoilers for this game in the how many years this game has been out i've awarded everything i don't know how i do it i really don't know how i do it I guess I just don't like poke. I don't go poke and prod. I'm not, I have not, I watched Game Grumps. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's why I said like watched and or played. Excuse me. I kind of told the club I said I would bring a new member. And Atsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, fuck yeah, cupcakes? Fuck yeah, we're going. I want free food. I love cupcakes. Uh huh. Don't make promises you can't keep. Can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I also watch Game Grunts. So you know absolutely nothing about this game, right? Well, I had a member in the Discord server say that there's a trigger warning for suicide. I don't trigger, but like, I know other people might. Um, so I, I do have content warnings enabled, so when stuff comes up, it'll get- it should warn in advance. Um... I, I, but I know nothing. I know nothing else. I, I'm assuming it's gonna be similar to, like, Inscription in the sense, like, it might fuck with the computer a little bit. Which is, like, interesting. Like, I love that type of shit. Even though, like, I usually don't watch- I usually don't play games like that. But, like, they're still really cool. Um, and, like, if I could survive, um, Kokichi Oda- Kokichi almost a uh, very scary face from Danganronpa V3, I think I could survive this. We're gonna play a little bit and see how I feel like once we get into the disturbing content. So no spoilers, but trigger warnings, got it. Just seeing where we are in chat here. Yeah, um... They keep saying like very disturbing content and I'm like, I don't know what they mean. Like, as long as we're not going into analog horror, then I'm good. Cause analog horror freaks me out. That's the type of horror that like really like I cannot watch. I mean like, there's a lot of types of horror I can't watch, but like analog horror is like I it make it literally makes me uncomfortable. Like, not to get like super dark or anything, but like suicide doesn't trigger me. SA doesn't trigger me. Like other stuff doesn't trigger me, but analog horror, like absolutely the fuck not. No, no, no. I can't. I can't do analog horror. Um, good luck with this game. That's the that's one of the only games I can't watch, but I wish you luck. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. Yeah, if anyone in chat just can't watch this game, by all means, like, you are not obligated to be here. Um, but I appreciate you stopping in and saying hello. But if you need to bow out, more power to you, friend. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Yes, see, it's the free food. It's it's always the free food. All right, the game gets me. The game understands me. Yes, let's go. I have to figure out how I'm gonna voice the four other, the three other girls. They're all gonna sound the same, and I'm so sorry. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the stool and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? Glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Wait, I'm a boy? Why was I a boy? <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> uh... Okay. Alright. Yeah, you're a boy in this game. Alright, alright, cool. Uh, <laughs> cool. 
cool. I get to live out my fantasies of being a boy. Yay! Amazing. Let me just go throw a binder on. It's a Japanese dating sim. Oh! Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so that gives me an excuse to make my character lower in pitch. All right, cool. Cool. I would do ASMR for my character, my inner monologue, but that means, like, I have to, like, pick up my mic so many times and I, like, I really don't want to do that. I, I'm not ready to commit to that bit. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Gray, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Fantasies of being a boy and getting to flirt with cuties. <laughs> Girl number three over here looks like the the teacher, the ultimate maid, no, not ultimate maid, ultimate housekeeper from Rampa 3. Kind of gives me the vibe. Just a little bit. All words escape to me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh man. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. That's Suki. <laughs> ah, so I think she's the president. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She also is the one who made the cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. This is Yuri, the smartest of the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears com compellingly more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. No, that was me saying that. I am digging that amazing shirt, by the way. Thank you, Hot Topic! Yeah, we love Hot Topic. Um... I try not, like, I was explaining to Peachy earlier, um, the shirt has skulls on it, as you can see. Um, so I try not to wear them when I'm in office, so, but today, since I worked remotely, um, I wore it today. Just because, like, when I'm in office, there's a higher chance of me, like, interacting with, like, deans and faculty and, like, whomever who might wander in. So, like, I try to dress, like, a, a tad bit more professional and not wear skull shirts. So that means when I'm home, I get to wear school shirts because I'm usually just interacting with students. And they're usually not paying attention anyway. So. Yes, but hot topic. If you see me wear like a cool shirt that isn't like a graphic print on the front, it's probably hot topic. But thank you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Gray. Monica says, smiles sweetly and sticks her butt out. Uh. Please don't flirt with me like this. We do knew each other well. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me just so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Gray. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry got a little too excited then how do i make some tea as well we have you can make tea in a classroom do we do we have like a portable hot water maker or something the girls the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table as sayori mentioned it's been widened so that one space next to monica and one space next to sayori natsuki and yuri walk over to the corner of the room where natsuki grabs a walk a wrapped tray and yuri opens a closet still feeling awkward to take a seat next to sayori Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! Uh, I missed the beginning, now I don't know what's happening. Um, apparently we were kind of forced into joining a literature club and we're, out, we're the only guy out of four girls. But also, hi Locke, how are- how cool? Ha, uh, I, I can English. Hi Cole, how are you? That- that's- yeah, that's English. That, that is English. Um, glad to see you here, friend. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. You're all cut up now. Cut up. Uh, caught up. Hello, I am well. How are you? I'm doing okay. Today was like a, a relaxed productivity day. Because, like, I still had work. But, like, it was pretty slow in terms of students. Hot Topic is an anagram for thick topo. Don't call me thick, Yolfador. 
I will punt you from your place as moderator, even though Twitch is like already like yeeted, half yeeted you. So you have to use highlighted messages to chat. Everyone, we're gonna fight Twitch. We're gonna, we're gonna fight Twitch. Because Yolvador can only communicate as my moderator through highlighted messages. And Twitch is trying to silence him. And I don't appreciate it. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Oh, that's cute! Natsuki, good for you. Why is Twitch bullying your mods? I don't know. It's just the one. Adrian and Mary have no issues, but it's just Yolfador, who's like one of my more long-standing like viewers. <laughs> so it boggles my mind. That's some cute sounding cupcakes. They are cute sounding cupcakes, right? So cute. I had no idea. Oh wait, oh, fuck. I'm gonna get Monica and the other one confused. I think I'm gonna make Monica like British because I can, because I really wanna bring back my Sonia voice. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. I am the yeeted one. First of my kind, bring your chaos in the train conductor to chat, which does not exist. <laughs> does that mean they just have to keep cheating the points? I mean, I could like... Yolfador, how many points do you have actually? Cause like you don't redeem them often. As far as I remember. I mean, your big re point redeem was the 100k to disrupt my stream schedule for Cyberpunk. And then I got literally disrupted my stream schedule and got me sick. <laughs> so, like... Oh, she has a cute little fang! Okay. Glow! Thank you for the first friend. How are you? <laughs> well, you know. Hi, my Wi-Fi sucks. Hi, my Wi-Fi sucks. I'm dad. Shaking. Ha 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 ha. I I'm funny. I'm a funny Twitch streamer. Woohoo! <laughs> I have 40k right now. I'm good for uh. I have 40k right now. I'm good for a few more messages. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, I was typing that out, Aaron. See, Lex and I have clown to clown communication over here. <laughs> it's the rat hive mind. Glow, I hope you're doing well, friend. For the record, for anyone who's joining us, there are content warnings enabled, so when content warnings pop up, I will say them out loud. Uh, but other than that, I, I have no idea what's gonna happen in this game. I have no clue. I just know I'm probably gonna be deeply disturbed and probably won't be able to sleep tonight, so that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. So I already grabs the f one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. No spoilers plus yet. Yeah, don't spoil the game. Um, you're welcome to drop content and trigger warnings in chat when appropriate, but other than that, please no spoilers. Sorry, talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. No, you want to know the best way to eat a cupcake? You unwrap it, you take the bottom half off and put it on top and squish down the icing and make it into a sandwich. It's the best way to eat a cupcake, especially if it's not like one of the little mini ones that you can just pop in your mouth in one bite. Like, best way. Best way to eat a cupcake. And if you can't eat it like that, eat it with a fork. Bottoms first! <laughs> I do love- well, no, I'm a bottom. Oops, never mind. I was gonna say, well, bottoms are better. Mmm, that's a good idea. I just fits the whole thing into my mouth. Fit or fist, Lex? Fit or fist? <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't but help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. I see a sweet and full of flavor. I wonder what if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thinking me? It's not like I... I heard this song before. Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did, so I already did. Well, maybe. But not for you, dummy. You, dummy. All right, all right. That's how I eat my cupcakes bottom first. Bottoms up. Ellie! Thank you for the hot cross buns redeem. Let me get my recorder out. 
Oh! It's all the way over here. I would show my, my recorder bag on stream, but it kind of has my dead name on it. Or like my, my legal name. I don't want y'all to see that. All right, we're gonna have cl clashing music of the music of the game versus this. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Thank you for the redeem, Ellie. I hope you're doing well. There are trigger warnings for this game. Do I know them? No. Do we have content warnings enabled? Yes. <laughs> so we'll find out as we go. No spoilers, please. Alright, alright. Give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. This sounds a lot like, if y'all have seen The Office, this sounds a lot like The Finer Things Club. At, at the, in this moment, it sounds like The Finer Things Club. I have a bunch of trans and NB friends that call PayPal the dead name exchange. <laughs> oh my god, that that's accurate. That's so accurate, though. I tried so I tried so hard to get rid of it. Yeah, I, I tried really hard to like make sure people don't see my dead name when I use PayPal, but uh I've recently learned that that's not the case. <laughs> You keep a whole- you keep a whole ash tray set in this classroom? Tea set, sorry. I do not see- I do not see it either, I love you. Yeah, that- <laughs> I've seen that meme circling around on Twitter. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good buck? Uh, uh I guess. Uh -huh. Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? Th that's not- Insulted, Yuri looked away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined in a club yet, so I already seem really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure every we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica was surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Practice you'll probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh-huh. Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics about major clubs. It feels like nothing about arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I mean, that that's that's definitely true. Sounds like universities and departments like begging for budgets. That's honestly what it sounds like. This sounds like, okay, hot take. This is like being on student government board and having to hand out budgets to different clubs. This is what this sounds like. <laughs> this is exactly what it sounds like. Do you know which girl you're gonna romance yet? I have no idea. Um, I didn't even know this was a dating sim until like 10 minutes ago was when like we found out that I was actually a boy um and that someone's like oh yeah this is a Japanese dating sim like what <laughs> didn't know that I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it yeah LMAO LMAO indeed and if it encourages others to get into literature then I'm fulfilling that dream Monica is really a great leader Yuri nods in agreement then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet must be hard to start a new club. I despise my dead name. I mean, I don't despise it. I just don't think it fits me. But, like, I can understand, like, not liking it at all. Or, like, despising it. Yeah, I can understand that. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out an all effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. I mean, my off my work office literally has a book club. It's literally two people. <laughs> but they have, or it might be four people now, I don't remember. But they literally have a book club for our office. <laughs> for the staff members in my office. My chosen name is just a shortened version of my legal name. My chosen name, so Gray or Aaron, depending on how you want to view my name. 
does not relate or correlate to my my birth name at all no relation you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile but it makes school events like the festival much more important i'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate right everyone yeah we'll do our best you know it everyone enthusiastically agrees such different girls all interested in the same goal Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all delightly delighted by the idea of the new member joining. But I still don't really know if I could keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Gray, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Um, like, it has enraged me multiple times. Yeah, that's- that's fair. That's fair. Last name is the true dead name. Fuck my last name. I- I vibe with that. I vibe with that. I hate my last name. Mm. Uh, I always freeze up whenever I hear my birth name. Yeah, I mean, like, my- Yeah, if you're not following Glow, you really should. Um... Glow is a, I believe they're non-binary. Correct me on your label. I just know your pronouns. Um, they're a cool variety streamer like me. They uh, play a lot of um, like if you're if you like Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and Phoenix and I said Phoenix Wright twice. Brain's doing good today, y'all. Um, if you like Phoenix Wright, if you like Professor Layton, you'll very much like Glow's content. Yes, I'm non-binary. Yeah, non-binary pals. <laughs> High five. Woo. Um, they, them. Yes. Thank you for the pronoun redeem, Lex. Feel free to drop your pronouns in chat. Mine are she, they interchangeably. Um, I also been playing some spooky games recently. Yes. Glow has also been playing Amori recently, which looks very interesting. I don't think I would play it, but Envy Babies Unite. Please tell me that the university lets you use Aaron Gray. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I just use Gray, insert last name, because... We've already had issues trying to just get the chosen name, so trying to change my entire name, they won't- they- they would not allow- they would probably not allow that. Um, like, last name I can deal with. Last name I can deal with. It's just first name I just didn't want to deal with. Um, but, um, yeah, we're slowly- we're- we're- we're making waves. They're working on fixing it so that, like, everything that I need to use for my students Shows my chosen name. We're working on it. Progress. Oh, also, okay. Soapbox time. Say I'm a soapbox. So, we had a staff luncheon, staff faculty luncheon last week, right? And for all the new faculty and staff members, they had us in like a little pamphlet to introduce ourselves. Um, gray last name. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it should be, yeah. Um, and I gave them my pronouns to put somewhere in my bio. Gray Aaron. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you not see my tweet today? My name is now Aaron Greg. All right. Because a student called me Greg. And I'm pretty sure it was a typo. But, like, it, it's Aaron Greg now, everybody. That That's that's the that's the channel name now. It's Aaron Greg. Ta-da. New, new name. New name, everybody. Um, but, so I gave them my pronouns for the pamphlet, right? And, lo and behold... We get to the banquet or the luncheon and the pronouns aren't there. And I was like, how, huh, what? So I told my supervisor like, hey, by the way, like, I'm not mad about it. I'm just a little disappointed about it. Um, can we, can we talk to, who can we talk to to get this fixed for next year so that people have the option of putting pronouns and whatnot. And that when people give pronouns, they're actually put into the play, the, the, the thing. And so, like, my supervisor went and chatted with some people, and, like, the person who made the thing said, so like, oh, Grace pronouns are in there. And I'm literally, like, I I took the thing out of where I put it, and I, like, flipped it to it, and I'm, like, the, ma'am, the pronouns aren't there. And I literally, like, my supervisor's, like, yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. Your pronouns aren't there. And I'm, like, we're fighting the man, everybody. We're fighting the man. It's so good. I love being, like, the openly queer person in the entire business school. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, 
Aaron Greg Hefley. Who the fuck is Hefley? Why Hefley? I don't know who that is. I heard a story about Transu whose boss was a hard-ass ex-marine and there was some mix-up with his name on his check. Ex-marine figured out the problem, got pissed, and changed the dude's name in the system and said, if anyone has a problem with it, tell them to talk to me. Oh, I love- we'd love that. My supervisor is literally the best. I love her. I would die for her. She's been, like, so- Hefley is from Dire of the Wimpy Kid. Oh, Greg Hefley! Oh! Oh, it clicks now! It clicks. Got it. Aaron Greg Universe. <laughs> I'm just gonna start collecting names. <laughs> Glow is a they them here to cause mayhem. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at that because we shouldn't joke about like pronoun usage, but like that is kind of funny. Um, uh, but like that that's a good story. That is a good story. Oh, why did that glitch? Where did I get pinged? Who pinged me? Respect for as we will. Or we'll change yours to was were. Yeah. Literally me with the entire business school. Like, trapped in an ad. Listen, I need my two cents revenue. I'm sorry. It looks like she wants to she wants to say something, but she's quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after I see Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chased the rim of her teacup with her finger. Totally not sexual at all. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Why did the prospector go to the non-binary mountains? Because th there's gold and then there are hills. <laughs> oh my god. Prospector reminds me of a uh, fucking uh, inscription. Extremely rare, incredibly normal, great rapper Aaron Gray. <laughs> I need to start paying Yolfador for these types of anagrams. <laughs> I might take a nap. I am very not feeling well. Go take a nap, Peachy. The VOD will be here tomorrow night after I get back from work. Yeah, go take a nap, friend. We're, we'll hold your hand. We'll, we'll, hold, we'll socially distance hold your hand. So we'll just hold our hands out six feet away from each other and just act like we're holding your hand while you sleep. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Hold up my hand my wig and wiggle my fingers. My fingies. Love you all. Love you. Love you, Peachy. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh no. Uh oh. Mm mm. Don't like that. Tickle your hand with mine. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I love us. I love us. Uh, I read a horror book once. Desperately grasped something I could relate to at the minimal level. This way, Yuri might as well have been in conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. It begins. It begins. I don't like it. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, I really can't put it down. Serial horrors are very often successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over from me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? Horror, you say? Thonk. <laughs> Thonk emote. <laughs> Aaron Gray thonk. <laughs> Left a piece of scrap paper behind at the last meeting club. Club meeting. I can English. Looks like you're writing a poem called. Don't say it out loud! Give it back! Amori can't take no Mori. Fine, fine. Eh, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is so cute as you are. Cyrus slides up behind Nats Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. 
I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, I mean, this is the literature club. Not the writing club. So unless if you want to form a writing club to share your writings, no, we're not doing that. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level, level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share your, some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. I mean, is is writing not included in literature? This isn't a reading club. Oh, you're- that is right! You are right! Okay, touche. Touche, Glow. Touche. Aww. I want to read everyone's poems. I all sat in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. I just remember there's a Monica and Danganronpa. I'm going to continue making parallels to Danganronpa. You can't stop me. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah! Let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get to a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Gray? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's just one problem. I do not pay attention in any English class throughout my entire life, so I don't know how to write a fucking poem. And that's that. <laughs> eh? What's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I've only come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Never said I would join this club. Sorry you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Gray. You all are defenseless against these girls. <laughs> Man, we have no self-control, do we? we? We we have no stamina. <laughs> what was the name of the scary dog and Rappa scene you were talking about? Something scary face. Oh, so there's a sprite of Kokichi Oma in Dong and Rampa V3 that is so like very analog horror in style. Like it hmm. It it freaked me out when I saw it. I'm like, this shit's gonna give me nightmares. Because it was so, like, dis not distorted, but, like, dark and, like, horrifying, in a sense. Um, because he was being, like, evil little man. I have a bad feeling about Sayori. I have a bad feeling about all of them, let's be honest. Hmm. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. What would I YouTube to watch? Oh, to, to see it? Hold on. I can make a haha -ha funny, but spoilers, that's fair. Um, Dong and Rafa. E3. Kokichi Sprites. Okay, I found it. Give me a second here. Um, let me see if I can flip it on screen. Close the folder! Oh, do I not have... What is main monitor? Which one is main monitor? Hold on. There we go. Um, so this is the sprite. I think there's an even creepier one. I don't recall, though. But th this is the one that freaked me out when I saw it the first time. Because it's so sudden. But I think there's another one that, like, uh, I was like, ugh. Like, bruh. Yeah, it, it was this one. 
Yeah, there was another one that was also like pretty, like more dark than this. Can't find it though. It's fine. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. Not good. Once you get to the part, I'll have to send a meme in Discord that ties Doki Doki and Amori. Okay, got it. Understood the assignment. Can you whisper it to me? <laughs> Lex wants to know. Right. Okay, I have decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. I mean, I do love free food. Free food's a vibe. Then let's make it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Ever remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Oh, I'm gender fluid now. I don't know if I said that. Oh, hey, yay! Love that you're learning more about yourself and how you identify. Woohoo! Um, I do a point redeem to change the rat in this corner. I don't know if I have a gender fluid one, but I do have other ones. Um, if I don't have a gender fluid one, I will make one. Back in my college days, I so often only went to clubs for free food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Only went to events for free food. Mm-hmm. It's a vibe. Write a poem to bring to next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Great. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, that's fine. I, I like to mention it because not people, not a lot of people want to change the rat, and I'm like, I had fun making them. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making them, actually. In between class periods and stuff. Can I really impress this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Oh, BRB, I got a clap chase sequence to do. Valid. Hey, Grace, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sari and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With, the two of us to with that, the two of us depart the club and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I, really, will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I do it mainly externally. Internally, my gender is Chaos Goblin. That is fair. Alright. Just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. Oh, main character syndrome. That's not gonna happen, bud. I guess I start with writing a poem tonight. Do we get to see main character's room? It's time to write a poem. Oh god. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your club your poem the most. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm just a tad scared a little bit. Oh, these these sprites are cute though. Um poop. Uh okay, I I wanna. I would like to romance Yuri. I like Yuri. Small spoil? Where's Cat? Who's Cat? Well, it's just we're picking words. Fantasy. I'm trying to chase sequence done. What what chase sequence are you doing? Um, catch should be a pickable word. That's fair. Uh, I was asking if I may do a small spoil. Oh, it's an Amori. Oh, got it. <clears throat> are you done streaming that game, Glow? Or are you replaying it in your own- Because I know you were streaming it. I wasn't sure if you were doing, like, some on-stream and some off-stream. So I assume you do a small spoil. Speaking of cat, you get chased by a mutant cat at one point in Amori. Oh, interesting! Kawaii? Um, 
sure, I guess you can do a small spoil. I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um... No, but I'm replaying the true route to get all the achievements. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. Um... Not sure... Ah, I got an achievement! Ducky Ducky Poetry Slam! Playing the Hikiko Mori route on stream because it's all new. Ooh, fun! I'm trying to pick stuff for, for Yuri. Don't mind me. Um. Why is this one here? I'm... I'm a little concerned. Oh no, never mind, you're good, I'm a dork. That's fine. I, I'm just a tad concerned. Just a little bit concerned why that word is there. Um. <laughs> why did that switch tabs? Interesting. It's fine. We have depression in here, too. Um... It's just poem words. I, I guess that's true, but... Knowing that one of the trigger warnings is suicide, like... My brain, like, queued up. My mom. Doki Doki. <laughs> Do we find out why it's called Doki Doki at some point? Or does Doki Doki mean something in Japanese that I just don't know off the top of my head? I just don't know. Journey. Death! forget. That's fine. I think that's like a heartbeat. Oh, okay. Uh, Okie dokie. <laughs> it's a heartbeat panic glove. Cool. Bet. Amazing. Uh... Yeah, oh, Doki Doki translates to sound of a part beat. Oh, okay. Hi again, Gray. Glad you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. The Doki Doki literature club. I was asked to come in, so everyone was already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Gray. Hope this isn't too overwhelming for a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. So I already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in her club room. Mmm! Valid. <laughs> Sounding of a heart beating her. Sorry, Japanese is more, much more poetic. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back down into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Grace always gives it, gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me asking. 
The cooking, cleaning my room. Wait, what? Are we reliving my 13 year old fan fiction here when I would have like friends come over and help me clean my room for me? Sayuri, why? Why are you making me clean your room and cook for you? What? Why? I'm confused. I'm just a tad confused, it's fine. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> Two are really good friends, aren't you? Might be a little jealous. How come? You and Greg can become good friends too. Um, Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to a weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. But wait, Sayori? Me? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sorry, I'm sorry, may it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, uh, what did what I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture you from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Mary just turned back and pulls out a book. Didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't need to read. But I could, you know, discuss it. If you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. Look forward to hearing what you think. Not that everyone's settled in. I expected Monica to kick off with some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are already having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't believe knows her intense expression, like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. Same time, I feel bad for distra distracting her from reading. Catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh... Ah, we have a music change! BRB friendos. Okay, Lex. Thanks for the BRB friend. Mm. Crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes met for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. Muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm just rereading this bits, a bit of this, so... Um, that's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I want to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. I'm just curious. How come you got have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped by the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just so happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. Definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. It's an honest-looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in a high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, life gets really strange. Life is strange, anyone? She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. While her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. I, I think you're in spoiler territory now. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like he was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah. Uh -huh. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Gray? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. This sounds like a very big red herring. This is either very intense foreshadowing or a red herring. One of the two. Yeah, I totally forget that Yuri is into those things. 
She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. She said those kinds of stories. They challenge you to look at life from a strange and new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because of someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you were related to the protagonist, they may not be a naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. Haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, and I forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Mmm, don't like that. But that's... I really don't think you need to worry. That's just mean you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true, in fact. In fact, you might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. Quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Slip into a seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah... Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not like I don't want you to. This is something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. So I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. <laughs> Yuri, please. <laughs> please, friend. So, sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? That's me. I do that. Hello. <laughs> mm, I, I do? I don't mean to. Sorry. I mean... Huh. Here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we eat, each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Felt feels like my left arm is in the way, so I, instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb and flips it to her side. Oh, this is really cute. This is sweet. But holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's, like, it's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You know, I was used to reading, right? Don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Said I just as soon as she's finished the page before me, then I turn on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Just realized I could use my Mari wig to cosplay Yuri. Ooh! Yes! You do that if you want to. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. I think it got dark outside. <laughs> me noticing it got dark outside my apartment. Oh, it's dark. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of your some of your mannerisms. I'll have to do it before my breast reduction whenever that ends up happening, LMAO. Oh my god, yes! I, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Grey, it's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. 
Ugh, this is so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were... Excuse me. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Yes, uh, and more meant it. It's kind of cute. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri, I so spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. Sorry you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. Okay, so I'll read them a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Couldn't really find much inspiration since I'd never really done this before. Well, now I've written this to you, why don't you find something someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically put out their poems. Sayuri is on, is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Then here, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Carve to see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I did the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Uh, we should show it to Yuri, because I wrote it with Yuri in mind. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her old face. Oh, she cute! <sighs> He's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. Who am I getting so nervous for? Uh, Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, and then looks at my poem again. Oh, I know that. Just meant, um... Yuri shows off, unable to find an excuse. She traced her finger along the words of the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. It's the reason I was able to tell. It's just there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style se separate from the topic matter, and they, form, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something to be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki gets to be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my- I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this- isn't this supposed to be a literature club? See? I was right. Okay. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstand the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Dang, that's good! I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. 
But you took a long time to read because I just don't read cursive. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. Thank you, the game knows me. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's, that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write Lion Walker poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. This is our first time sharing. I want to write something a little bit more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost story? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Gray. Really? Must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their works. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's, it's nothing, really. Yours is impressive, too, so... If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You, you think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. In the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Gray. Mm, I don't know if I would do the best for me, but okay. Uh, me too. Okay, uh... Let's go to Natsuki. Just so I can voice a whiny little bitch. <laughs> Gray, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to you actually put effort into this? Don't. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're so proud of the first one you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Oh! Called her out! <laughs> Painful to think about. Fine. Sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, it's each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Oh, man. This is... It's simple yet deep at the same time, and I kind of hate that. <laughs> yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why, why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make you, your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I think it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. I guess I put a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. I'll just bring out the feeling in the last line. Yeah, that, I noticed that. Yeah, that was good. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. Decided to humor her well with the last comment. Don't really care how old everyone is. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, let's go to Sayori. This is a good poem, Gray. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. And I'm the kind of guy who- Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why he impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy you just wrote one. Kind of just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Gray. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying to do things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. 
Oh my god. Yolfador, how long did this take you? Somewhat annoying Yuri, otherwise rarely indecent. That's for Sayori. Not a trusting soul unless annoyingly interested. That's Nasuki. Yeah, a uh, reader, I guess. That's Yuri. <laughs> Might ordain nobility in knightly anaconda. And that is Monica. Very nice, Yolfador. Class for Yolf. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? It took me yes long. <laughs> God, Yolfador. That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll be in my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine. Ooh. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out to play? Are you asking me to wish the way a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's a mood. That's a mood. Or when your bladder is like, yeah, you need to get the fuck up now because you need to go to the bathroom. Sayori, this is... This is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. I can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least make me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it like it was a bad poem. It just came out nice, or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Okay, then. So I really doesn't want to know me because I skip breakfast daily. I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Uh -huh. This is so much fun. Monica's the best. Yeah. Next time, I won't forget. I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I look forward to it. Alright, now we just have Monica. Hi, Gray. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring these up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring that up. Much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, Gray. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? This is the sort of barrier that we'll all get to learn past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Gray. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. I, I don't even know what the fuck I wrote besides those 20 adjectives I picked from. It's really metaphorical. I'm not, even sure, I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I pull it in some effort. Yeah. Ah, that's not very fair. <sighs> well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, like that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. I like Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes when readers are left to derive their own meanings out of it. Oh, hey, you can't. Vrunerigus? What? Vrunerigus? Don't even know that Pokemon. It's very challenging to write that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by. The, the, something out of it by just by feel. Or letting them deeply and analyze all the nuances. It could take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has that at this point. Never really asked, though. Sure. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up get, trying different things a lot. Could take a while before I feel comfortable doing something like this. That's okay. I like to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else may be a bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole and wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction of sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see! I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole in infinite ca choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Ooh! Oh, I love the music shift from when we go to read the poem to when we come back to this while keeping the same theme. Very good. Very well done. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. That sounds ominous. It does sound very ominous. It sounds like foreshadowing. Yeah, that's the kind of style that has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis and emphasis on the right syllable, on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had this kind of epiphany recently. So I'm feeling to see my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everybody's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something on the paper and tidy it up later. Yes, this is very real advice. Advice I am using when writing my current fan fictions. Cause I'll get hung up on how to write something or like a scene and then like but I just continue writing on past it because I want to get everything out on the page and then like during proofreading is when I go and tidy and add things it's very helpful another way to think of it is about like this if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink so you just move your hand and go with the flow that's my advice for today thanks for listening Phew. I guess that's everyone. A glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. That kind of applies to programming too, actually. I'm so bad at doing that. Yeah, it's it's kind of a hard habit to break sometimes. So I, I vibe. Oh. I'm anxious. When are, when are the bad things going to start happening? Because I keep thinking like after every corner, something's going to happen. And like my nerves are not settled. <laughs> Says that everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if it's are being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. You're fine. Okay. When you least expect it. Mary! Hi, bestie. Hi, hi my best friend. I'll warn you beforehand. Hopefully I remember. Okay. <gasps> Hello, thank you for the second, Mary. I love you. I also do have content warnings on, but I don't know if that'll fully make me aware of bad juju that's about to happen. But I do have content warnings on. I'm really just waiting for everyone to die or something at any moment. <laughs> I'm waiting for a dong and rampa to happen. I'm waiting for Monokuma to pop out of the closet and be like, it's punishment time! And then like, yeah, I'm waiting for that to happen right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for this to turn into dong and rampa. <laughs> also, if I remember correctly, it's kind of obvious before it happens. Oh, okay. Can anyone in chat confirm, just to be safe? Sai, I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? 
Do you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. Just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Also, great. I don't know if you want any Omori streams. The spooks are very. Um, I have watched bits and pieces of your Omori streams, but not like full streams. Um, of it. I just remembered how thirsty I was. Voice acting makes me tired. <laughs> oh yes, hello you're just the beginning, so you have time. Also, Yuri is my favorite. Yes, I am trying to romance Yuri. Hi, Gothics. Welcome in, friend. How are you? Was your first day of students also today as well, or is I dreaming? If so, how'd it go? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Gray did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't appreciate it. to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Can kind of confirm. I also being pretty obvious before it happened. Okay, cool. Bet. Nah. And Gray likes my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Atsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. This music, though... I don't know how I feel about it, but okay. I'm doing well. No, we are a quarter system today starts September 19th. I think I, I might start meeting with students next week for registering for classes and other general advising. Yeah, that's what we do. Like, we register- we we meet with students year-round. Um, but our students started today. I only had to meet with five. Um, yeah, there was like a, a lack of students today and it was weird. That's not what I- uh, you're- you're just- Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Gray appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Oh, God. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I know I'm supposed to be a man in this game, but, like, y'all don't have to fight over me, all right? Everyone can share, okay? Polyamory's a thing. Three thumbs are a thing. We can share. It's fine. It's fine. Oh yeah, and I did remember you saying about the quarter system. Sorry. My mind does funky things. Are that- are you that full of yourself? Stop fighting- Mom, they're fighting! <laughs> the music is not helping the case either right now. Are you that full of yourself? I- no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make sure- make everything I do overly cutesy. Ah! Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Gray started showing up. Oh, shit! N Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> oh my god. Ladies, ladies, you don't have to fight over me. God, I'm, I, I have enough to share. This piece would go nicely in a ghost level of Mario Bros. or something. Oh, yeah. I vibe. Yeah. That- yeah. I agree with that. No worries. I have an only in a semester system too, so it's different for me. I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly both girls- girls- turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Gray. She's- she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Excuse me. Might have to take, like, a quick five minute, just let my voice rest. What's the point in making poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Gray. But wait, there's a reason we may have... We, so, we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. 
It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, but it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Gray? Uh, well? How did I get my drags dragged myself into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course it's going to be Natsuki. Or no, it's going to be Yuri. Natsuki. You're right that I liked your poem, but I fucking hate your attitude. <laughs> Voting Natsuki off the island when? Because we don't like her? C. Wait. I'm not done yet. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my home seriously. Mm, I understand, Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it. It becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poems were cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. <sighs> Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well. And if you just told her how you felt, this wouldn't, wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Yeah. Natsuki clenched her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry. Sorry, she doesn't need to. You know what? I can do that. I'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her poem up from her desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki... She really didn't have to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handle as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Uh, question for chat. How long is the main game of this? I'm trying to- I, I just want to make sure I pace myself. Um, I figured it's gonna be at least two to three streams, if not longer than that. If I don't get too spooked by it. Thanks, Gray. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of the club now. Eh, uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do so anything so shameful. So, eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. Good idea. Make it up for one more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Great, how about you? Yeah, I say the same. It was a neat thing to talk with about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe I'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can do at least a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to, I nod to myself with newfound determination. Gray! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have been spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it, either. Sayuri. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I know I don't hate them. Just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Gray, it's nice I get to spend time with you in the club. In the club! Getting down in the club! 
But I think seeing you get along with everyone is making me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day's going to be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Sarah still hasn't caught on to the situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Yeah, I want to fuck everyone. I want to kiss. I want to smooch. And they're all legal age, so I can say that we want to smooch. Depends on how fast you are, and also you get, go through the main storyline and focus on that. Not getting endings are 100%. It can be about four hours-ish. Oh, only four hours? Yeah, because I don't intend on, like... I mean, we could try to 100% it. Um, but I just want to do a main storyline. So maybe we'll end at two and a half today and not do full three, three hours. Especially if it's, like, like literally a four-hour game. Because where would you say I am right now? Like, where would you say? Like, am I halfway? Am I a little under half? Am I at one third? Like, give me a gauge here. That is, like, not stop without interruptions, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I interrupt. And I'm speaking aloud, too. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. The pets are on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Poem writing time! Alright, we're gonna write another poem for Yuri. Best girl. Hold on. First I wanna save, though. Alright. Alright. Secretive... Yeah, so you probably will be closer to maybe five hours. It's hard to gauge gameplay, play time of games if you're actually streaming the game. Yeah, it really is. Um, cause you have so many things that like come up and like, um, disrupt stream. First time playing, have you seen any spoilers? Hi Barry, welcome welcome in for the first welcome in. Um I'm Aaron Gray, queer variety streamer. Um yes, this is my very first time playing the game. Uh I have not seen the spoilers. I think they're I from like thumbnails I've seen of game theory videos, like Monica is a thing, like creepy thing, but like that's just like a thumbnail that could be not true. Um but, like, I, I don't know anything about the game. I just know there's some psychological shit. I know there's, like, a trigger warning for suicide. Um, but I don't know anything beyond that. So, no spoilers, please. Got it. So, no major spoilers. Yeah. Or, like, no spoilers a at all. Thank you for the follow, friend. Thank you for getting me to 520 followers. I appreciate you. Um, this is the Hacker at Den. There's snacks in the kitchen. I just made- I burnt my chicken tenders today. Doing great. Fantastic. Um, there's plenty of plushies. Come and grab one to cuddle with and just have a good time. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah. Uh, we're probably gonna end in a little while because, like, you have the same name as a famous actress, did you know? I did not know that, actually. It's actually my chosen name, or, like, my half-chosen name. Uh, Aaron and Gray are not, like, part of my legal name. They're just both names I really like and I use in other forms of media, so... It is a sad day when there are burnt chicken fingers. I made them too. Like I, I, and I think it's because they weren't fully unthawed. I took them out at eleven o'clock and then like made them around four, so they didn't have time to fully unthaw. Which I was like, Sigh. I should have taken them out sooner. I did not anticipate them to take that long. I'm old. She was on the TV show ba Buck Rogers in the twenty fifth century. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no idea what that is, but um, cool. I guess. <laughs> Fun fact, actually. Uh, so here's some Aaron Gray lore. I was actually, so like I rebranded my channel back in 2020 when I actually restarted streaming um, or like officially started streaming when I was graduating from undergrad. And I was originally gonna name myself Gray Nevada because that's what I called myself um, in the Red vs. Blue fandom because that was my OC, um, my original character. And then, like, I think it was Mary who was like, yeah, that sounds like a stripper name. That's probably a bad idea. So now I'm Aaron Gray. 
So there, there's your Aaron Gray lore of the day, my friends. <laughs> The 25th century is not from the future. Are you from the future? <laughs> I think that might be the name of the show, like the full show, I think. Or maybe it's a typo, I don't know. Barry will have to explain a little further. Um, if it doesn't work out for you, retcon. <laughs> I can retcon it, yeah. I can always retcon it. I'm also going to take off my socks. The only reason I wore socks today, because I stayed home for work, um, was because I had to leave my apartment and I cannot walk to my leasing office and back in my Birkenstocks or else my leg and my feet. What, what am I explaining? Oh, no, 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 it, I think you were the one who talked me out of putting my, uh, my brand name as Aaron Gray. Or, like, you talked me out of Gray Nevada as my brand name because it sounded like a stripper name. It's me, Connor. Ecraft Game, thank you for the raid of one. Hello, welcome in. Hi, my name is Aaron Gray, queer variety Twitch streamer. Um, currently playing some Doki Doki for the first time, for the first time ever. So please, no spoilers. Uh, let me give you a shout out real quick as I start swaying to death. Oh, Mary is already on it. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. I appreciate you. Awesome. So you were playing the fruit of a uh, uh, Grizz Grizzia. Is that how you pronounce it? Griziah? Tell me about that game. I have no idea what that is. So tell me about it. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Um, I mean, having a stripper name could bring in the views. Listen, I'm not looking for those types of views. No, 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 no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Listen, I may have played Dong and Rampa, but we're not about to get lewd here on the Aaron Gray network. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. I'm not trying to attract that type of content. <laughs> I'm trying not to attract those type of viewers, please. <laughs> But you craft game, thank you for thank you for the raid. I appreciate you. This is the hacker rat den. We're chill, we vibe, and I am now sweating to death. It's great. Uh no, hot tub viewers. I don't want ew, no. Ugh. Where am I gonna put a hot tub in here? Also, where y'all are y'all funding this? Are y'all are you are you are you all funding the hot tub stream? Cause like I no. <laughs> Uh, come from the stripper name, stay for the awesome gameplay. <laughs> sub goal? I mean, the current sub goal is for me to get vampire fangs. Um, but ya boy is trying to get a, uh, a VR headset. Mainly so I can play Beat Saber in my own time as like a workout. Cause like, Lord knows I'm not going to walk anywhere. <laughs> it's like a, a uh, visual novel like Doki, but it actually does like have a steam tag of nudity, so if you do play it, it's like a black bar. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Funding a hot tub? I'll fund a lot of things, but not a hot tub. Are you, can you fund me getting a VR headset? <laughs> oh, that sounds cool though, Ecraft. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for dropping in. Um, yeah, I don't play a lot of nudity games. I, I think the closest nudity game I've played is probably Cyberpunk because like you see you the character customization screen literally has dick right there. <laughs> but uh, would you play Beat Saber on stream? I have considered it. Uh, I would just have to change the camera angle a little bit. Um, I'd have to change the camera angle because like it would be in the more the center of the room, which is like over here in this direction. Um, and then I have to mod it to make sure that I can see stream chat and everything. Um, but I would consider it. I would consider streaming Beat Saber. Um, my friend JCK or Jasmine, um, also plays Beat Saber on stream. So I would probably ask her for some help with like setting up that stuff, but I would consider it. Yeah. Um, I'm still beating it and not have come across any nudity. Gotcha. Gotcha. So hold that thought real quick. I'm going to go turn on my air conditioning because I am kind of dying a little bit. So I'll be right back. I'm only just a little sweaty. It's fine. <laughs> oh no, don't die. It's all right. <laughs> It is completely okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. 
I'm sweating at my kneecaps. This is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is a-okay. Here, use this dollar to get your VR headset. Oh, E-Craft, thank you. Thank you for the, the cheers, my friend. All right. With that, we're going to get back into Doki Doki. So we're trying to romance Yuri at the moment. So that's why I'm writing the poem off of. This is the second poem that we're doing. Um, and again, please no spoilers uh, for the gameplay. Thank you for the follow, friend. I appreciate you. Again, welcome to the Hacker Rat Den. We have snacks in the kitchen, including some burnt chicken tenders. That we're not going to talk about them being burnt, even though I'm going to keep mentioning that I burnt them because I'm really sad about it. Um, I have fleshies behind me, and then there's plenty of floor space to just chill out. So, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, I do have a Discord server if y'all want to join. Um, that's where I announce when I go live, and also, like, my very, very, very most up-to-date stream schedule you will ever get. Um, and you get to help vote on games, because this was a vote, a community-voted game. So the community voted for me to play this tonight, um, out of four other games. Can I have the Natsuki Cupcakes? Yeah, the cupcakes she made sound actually really, really delicious. Um, I am a sucker for a good cupcake. I'm a sucker for, like, a good treat of any sort, actually. Uh, I mean, the chicken's already dead. I don't- Oh, dad, mine's being extra crispy? Yeah, yeah, but, like, I- I don't like burnt things. <laughs> and I really did not like all of, like, the steam in my kitchen. I beat this game a hundred plus times. Uh, not including mods. Ooh. I'm trying to think of, like, what you would do to mod this game. And then, of course, the lewd image comes to my mind first. Yeah, Natsuki cupcakes for all. Yes, start passing off the cupcakes, friends. Um, alright. So, okay. Yuri here. Also, no hints and no help unless if I say- I'll fund the cupcakes. <laughs> no hints, no help unless if I say otherwise. Please and thank you. Y'all have been good so far, so I appreciate it. I just say that because we have some new people joining us today. Um, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um... You use the assets of the game and many some more assets to add to the story of the game. Ah, okay. Oh, these are the same words. Dan's approves of modding. Oh, that, I'm assuming that's the dev. Or the person who created the game. Um. Allow me to cut through those words. Hey, thank you for the Hashimi comeback. We, we love Hajime. Actually, speaking of... So, I ordered a... thing. I wonder... if it has come through yet. God, I owe so much on my credit card. Holy fuck. No, it's not. That's okay, though. I leave cheap sound alerts. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I still need to add ones for, like, you have to buy bits on, which I- But, like, I've been hesitant on it, because, like, I know, like, bits are money. Um, so I might- Once I get my new-ish sound alert, I might have to change some things around. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. On the note that I beat the game a hundred times, Natsuki's best girl, that's a fact. I mean, I don't like Natsuki right now, but then again, this is my negative one time playing it. Notice that your sound alerts tab was blank. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, I have a sound alerts tab? I don't even know where that is. Oopsies. Um, I have 18.3 channel points, and I'm determined if I want to save it for 40k for VIP or 75k for co-host. I mean, hey, it's up to you. The more you watch, the more points you get, bud. So, like, I mean, and I don't do, like, uh, what's it, um, uh, predictions? I'm a lesbian. Yay, girls. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ooh, thank you, Locust, for gracing my eardrums. We love you. We love you dearly. Um, for Yuri, but I'm a guy. So it's for obvious reasons. I mean, I'm bisexual. Yuri, Yuri's my favorite right now. Um. Nope, that was incorrect. That's fine, though. That was also incorrect. It's fine. We're learning. K 
kitty. Booba. <laughs> Lightheartedly. A straight man who's a supporter, so yay, girls. <laughs> Guess whose D and D game wasn't even full two hours? Oh no! Hi, Ash. Welcome. Why wasn't your D and D a full two hours? Why was that? But welcome in, friend. I hope otherwise that you're doing well. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. Okay, but like, what Ugh, school? What school district do they have a club that meets literally every day? When I retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. Thank you for the follow, Ecraft. Thank you. Thank you, friend. I appreciate it. Uh, now we just need seven more, and then I can buy vi vampire fangs for when I play vampire. <laughs> I need I needed my name all on the bottom. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> I love that. I'm clipping that. <laughs> That's good. Did the bard romance the wrong world destroyer? Oh my goodness. I love the movies they make. Uh, did everyone die? Everyone else was tired and we hit a good stopping point. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I mean, I think they're in Japan. Clip it. I will clip it. I will clip it. Um... Yeah, I think I forget what my next sub goal I was gonna do after Vampire Franks. I think it was like gonna be like for a VR headset, I think. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna have to cancel the sub now. Oh no! <laughs> the game author has confirmed all girls are 18, so this is technically a college. Yeah, technically this is a college. So technically club meetings could be every day in college. I mean like Marching Band was technically a club and we met like four days a week. Um, maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven, maybe eight. Got a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Can't have it come out of my bank. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, next time don't do that. Don't, like, sub to somebody and then, like, revoke it. That's kind of, like, a little rude. Not gonna lie. Um. Because when I retire, I want a television the size of <laughs> Who gifted who gifted the subs? <laughs> and why aren't they all counting? Why are only five of them counting? Because I don't like that. I want a television the size of a billboard. Thank you, whoever gifted seven subs anonymously. But only eight five of them are counting, which pisses me off. <laughs> Why aren't these counting? Excuse me? Did my counter just- Okay, I'm counting them. To redeem myself, I will gift as well. Oh, thank you, friend. Because when I, retire, I, I don't know what- Okay, alright. I'm going to say it counts, even though my counter has stopped working, apparently, for some odd reason. I don't know why. Because when I retire, I'm gonna I'm say gonna it counts. It counts. It counts. I'm gonna buy vampire fangs now. I don't know why my counter is just like- Refusing to believe that we got more than like seven subs. Um, because when I retire, yeah. I want a television the size <laughs> of a yeah, we're gonna, uh. Yeah. Ignore me. Ignore me rambling now. But because yay, hype. Thank you. I want a television the thank you, Ecraft. And thank you, uh, the Anonymous Gifter. You're both, both very much appreciated. I need to figure. Well. I, I do do something for people who gift subs and like follow the channel and raid. I write everything in my, no in my notebook here. Um, so like, you get your name on a page and then I put down like uh, what you did and I, they're all color coded. Uh, when I retire, when I retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. <laughs> it's it's a quote from uh, Red vs. Blue by Felix. Well, Felix's character in Red vs. Blue. Because when he retires, he wants a television the size of a billboard. 
Yeah, yep, thank you. Thank you, Ash. Now I can use my emotes and your emotes. Ah, yes, double thonk, amazing. Uh, rawr. Thank you, thank you. Of course, of course. Yeah, I tried, like, he, him. Yes, thank you for pronoun redeem. Uh, feel free to drop your pronouns in chat. Mine are she, her, or she, they, interchangeably. Um, clo close they, them. Thank you, thank you. Entering the pub room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Gray. That was a voice crack. Let me bring a friend. <laughs> they, he. Thank you, Ash. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. He, him. Thank you, Phosmonaut. He, him. Thank you, Gothics. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. It's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which... Hi, Natsuki! Welcome in, friend! How are you? Hmm. I see your favorite character must be Natsuki, right? <laughs> Natsuki's currently on my shit list at the moment, but we just started this game today. First time playing it, so, like, characters could redeem themselves. But, like, Ant Squish your little shithead from Danganronpa 2 will never be redeemable in my eyes. Sorry. Um, I don't even remember her name. She's the one with the kimono. I don't remember her name. She's the ultimate tribal- or ultimate traditional dancer. I don't remember her fucking name. Um, but, yeah. I don't like her. <laughs> I really did not like her. I like to act like that Suki and Chess without spoiling it in the chat, if you don't mind. Um, I would prefer not. Um, I would prefer if you don't do that. Please and thank you. Himiko! Himiko! Thank you! Himiko! Oh, I fucking hate her. Angie was like- Eh? I really need to do a dong and rapid tier list. I need to do husband tier list from my Twitch anniversary birthday stream that we have not done yet. Mary, you need to remind me to do this. No, not Himiko. No, that was the witch. That was the ultimate uh, mage witch. Hiyoko, yes, thank you. Twitch chat comes together. If you say so, have a good day. No problem, friend. Have a good day to you as well, my friend. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. May you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? Th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that? All of a sudden. No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Eh. Sayori's Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. The names are too close. Yeah, they really are. She falls with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets let its constant spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Just realize it is 1 a.m. where my friend is so they are sleeping. That's fair, that's fair. A lot of my friends that I met through like streaming and stuff are like in the UK and European time zone. I mean two of my mods are EU based, so like <laughs> I don't know how they put up with me. It's fine. Uh, it's like how in Love Live we have Kanan and Kanan and you and you. Glow, you just hurt my brain. <laughs> the stop and explains for people who come in and are confused. Uh, I gotta go. I'm so curious to what spooky stuff happens and I'll probably miss it. I'm not sure if spooky stuff will get to this stream. I'm probably gonna stop around the two and a half mark. Thanks to the stream and game narration. Thanks, Cole. Thanks for being here, friend. I appreciate you. Only two small coins fall out. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I knew it. I could see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. I was in the same time zone as you, but not anymore. Yeah, you're three hours behind. Is anyone else super freaking excited for the new D and D campaign in 2024? No, because I don't play D and D. But I'm excited for all those who are excited about it. Doing it because I'm not sure where you are. Um. Okay, but next time you do the stop and explain, just be like, I'm not sure where you are in the game. Uh, so we just finished- we just wrote our second poem, so we're gonna be introducing it today. Um. How'd you even know? Because when I retire, I want a television the size of a- Oh, uh, Hot Cole, thank you for the subscription, friend! I appreciate you! Oh, by the way, um, 
Lock Cole is making a browser game. More details to come soon when I am not blanking on it. But just what you want to do so before I left. Yeah, Lock Cole is working on a browser game. And it's going to be really cool. Um, I'll talk more about it in one of my future streams and probably in the Discord server. But it's pretty cool. It looks really cool. Um, okay, have a good night, everyone. Take care. Bye, Lock. Thanks for coming. Oh, yes, that is true. Yes, yes. Lock is cool game dev. Hey, Lock, do you know how to code? <laughs> I need help coding a Discord bot. <laughs> it's fine if you don't. <laughs> I mean, I can't use the Discord bot right now, but it's okay. I am not looking at the new update stuff because I have friends in the very server shitting on it because Pathfinder did it first and I just have disengaged completely at this point. That is valid. <laughs> that is so valid. Hmm. It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. I do. That's my job. God, I hate that. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to con conveniently forget that you spent all your money so I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves one option. Ugh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. Okay, I've gone for... Uh, I know how to code. I'd help you if you want. Open source game? Um, the game is called... Oh, fuck. I should know this. I don't know this, though. My brain hurts. It's called Elements of Adventure, and it's like an MORPG game uh, where there's like a lot of like single-player stuff, but there's also um, multiplayer online stuff as well. Um, and like a lot of the... Oh fuck, I should know this. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome game. It's a browser game and a mobile game, so you can play it in browser. Um, and maybe if they hit all their funds on the Steam on a maybe if they hit all their funds on a Kickstarter, then it could come onto Steam, but it's a game that's designed to like be played in short spurts, so like 10 to 15 minutes at a time and not like something where like you sit and grind for hours to get somewhere. Um, which is, like, something that I think I would appreciate, personally. Um, but what really sold me on the game was that, like, a lot of the quests are gonna be based in, like, not necessarily, like, modern issues, but based in modern issues. So, like, talking about, like, climate change and, like, um, like, modern day issues, but, like, in a fantas fantastical setting, in a way. That's the best way I can describe it at the moment. Um... Oh, fuck, I should know this sounds like an awesome game. I know, right, Barry? <laughs> yeah, those friends are just like to shit on D&D because Pathfinder 2 is better in all these ways. And I'm over here like, cool, you've made me never want to look at Pathfinder 2. Congrats, good job. Congrats, yeah, you did amazing. Woohoo, yeah. Hi, Scotty, how are you, friend? Welcome, welcome. How is your Monday treating you? Well, it's no longer Monday where you are. But how was your Monday? <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Uh -huh. Monday is over. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that out as I was saying that. Could you tell? <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? Didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is, is in her book, as always. Ah. I, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri... Tell Gray to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved in like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy when you can responsibly afford. Frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean like that. I got too absorbed in my book. Uh... I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. A fun side. Okay. Like, if you love Pathfinder so much, just play it. No one is stopping you. I don't do things I don't want to do all the time. Um, oh, it was alright. Didn't do much. Got reported Dead by Daylight for nothing and just trying to work on getting your project started. What? Why did you get reported in DBD? What did you allegedly do, is my question. Um, I personally have used the Pathfinder engine more, but it doesn't matter to me. I just play D&D. D &D. Okay, here's my hot take on D&D. Okay, ready? I'm gonna stand on my little soapbox, which is underneath my desk. Well, it's not actually a soapbox. It's a footrest. 
bum using it as my, my soapbox. I really like D&D for, like, the game mechanics. I just hate medieval settings. I really just don't like medieval settings. I think that's why I haven't played Skyrim. I think that's really why I have not played Skyrim. Because I just don't like medieval renaissance time period. I fucking hate renaissance music. And baroque music. And classical music. Hate it. Hate. I mean, I appreciate it for what it is. For where it gotten us today in the musical world and society. But like, god, I hated studying it. Oh my god. Anyway. Except for Box Little Fugue and G Minor. That will always have a special place in my heart. I think why I don't enjoy D&D &D is because I hate fantastical settings. Or like, yeah, fantasy and like medieval settings. Not fan of Lord of the Rings. I never got into Lord of the Rings. I was never a fan of Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. Uh, careful, your queer card might get revoked. I don't even have a queer card, excuse me. When did I get one? I didn't get one, Lex. Can I have a queer card, please? Like, I'll learn new rules by how, if I have to, but yeah, D&D &D is just silly fun. Soap chair. Soap chair. <gasps> Hi, Nunu! How are you, friend? It's so good to see you! d, &D is so good. Yeah, I, and then there's me who's like, I like playing homebrew campaigns. Uh, <laughs> Ted I Talk coming in from Aaron Gray. Oh my god, thank you for the follow, other Nunu! Do you have a, a preferred name, by the way, besides uh, other Nunu? Just let me know. If you do, if you do prefer that, I'm fine with it. DVD is like LOL. People will report you for literally anything. You can be reported for kiting, looping, and jenning. Person is being face canned by a killer who has a one hit down ability. None of us could get near, so we worked on gens and said to punish that style of play. We got reported because we never took a hit to get them off hook and or apparently never attempted. Oh, got it. Uh, my D&D is set in a modern setting and it works just fine. We killed a whole rock band. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness. I... Mary can vouch for this. We did a red versus blue themed D&D campaign and I was the DM and it was a lot of fun until like everyone left the campaign. Except for like me and Mary and another person. Grant, actually. Um, you could do sci-fi and D&D. I played a, a Star Wars D&D campaign. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, I understand like you could play other forms of D&D but like normally like the people that I've interacted with who want to play D and D, like specifically in person, because like I really like to do something in person. It's all like medieval stuff, and I'm like, I don't want to do medieval stuff. I want to play like cyberpunk. I want to do like cyberpunk shit or like esque shit, not exactly cyberpunk 2077, but like other stuff. Um, yeah, I got reported because I escaped. Five uh, E isn't even like even like all that like it's fine there's just a bunch of good rule sets out there and 5e is just another set if you have to promote your system of choice by shitting on other ones that ones i enjoy i can't really be can't really all that great yeah i'll send you my spare one in the mail <laughs> trekkie i am kind of a trekkie i watched the three reboot movies in high school and that's what like sold me on film music and i think that's what really kickstarted like my love for like video game and film music um but i haven't watched like the tv show no um but i appreciate it for what it is i think i would if i actually like sat down and watched through star trek i think i would like it more than i like star wars right now um oh you didn't get yours someone's getting fired stuck on an ad i'm sorry and also homeroom campaigns oh if you can call me jade if you want okay i mean whatever you're comfortable with jade <laughs> nice to meet you jade yeah well Welcome here. Welcome to the Hacker Rat Den. We have burnt chicken tenders in the kitchen. We have plushies up here. And then there's plenty of room to just chill out and veg. Uh, with Nine staring at me and Connor smiling at all of chat right now. Um, I'm a forever DM. You want to play? Grab me a party and I'll rock you with Cyberpunk Command. Ooh! Perhaps? Perhaps. Perhaps. Feel free to DM me. We can talk about that. There's Sips and Scrape for Cyberpunk settings. Ooh! Mmm! Mmm! Ayo, Gray, if I can get my shit in order, I'd love to play a Cyberpunk game okay, with you. Alright, all right, I guess we're just gonna have an Aaron Gray plays D&D &D on stream. Alright, I guess that's happening now. <laughs> Do you have Discord D&D &D group? Kirk or Picard? I like Chris Pine's P Kirk, but I love Picard from Next Gen. So I, I like Chris Pine's Kirk, not the original Kirk. I like Chris Pine's Kirk. Um, Picard from the reboot movies. Picard is not in the reboot movies, but I do know Picard from Next Gen. 
Um, I have an empty pre-made one for day one. Ooh. Wanna whisper me the link no and I'll be ready as player one? I'm serious, I will make you a campaign. Oh, okay. <laughs> Other new new, please, Jade, please shoot me a DM on Twitch. Uh, not on Twitch. On Discord, please. <laughs> we we will we are the same Trekkie then. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Not me checking to see if Brian Deckard sent me my audio message yet. <laughs> uh oh, we made a party. We really did just make a party, didn't we? <laughs> this is so funny. This is so great. Party assembled. Yeah, no, no, uh, Jade, you can just send me a DM. You don't, like, if you want to join the Discord server, you can, but you can just send me a DM as well. You have my permission. That's a whole party here. I'll DM you, give me a week, and I'll have it all set up. I mean, I can't guarantee that I will play Doki Doki D and D Club. I love Q the most in this track. I don't remember. I don't think I know Q, but yo, this happening? I mean, I will figure out. Why do I have? Why did I suddenly shoot up to six thousand kilobytes per second? That's weird. Okay, fuck yeah, this is cool as hell. I mean, we'll figure out the details. DM me on. Discord, if you are interested in being in this campaign, and we'll figure it out from there. We'll figure it out. Uh, yes. Anyway, back to what we're after. Who is the anonymous fellow that gets to be a subscription? We don't know, Vaughn. We don't know. That's why it's anonymous. I have a feeling it's Ash, though. But I'll feel bad if it's not Ash. But, like, it's happening if you want it to happen. Let's go. I mean, I have to figure out time. Um... But yes, we'll we'll work on it. This is side. This is take. This is. Listen, if I. <sighs> Fuck you, found me. <laughs> Ash, we appreciate you so much. I appreciate you. I was trying to be sneaky, Gray. <laughs> Ash, I I know you. I know you, friend. <laughs> We'll figure this out later with Price, but keep me informed of what the details of developments are. Yes, if you're interested in being in the Cyberpunk D&D campaign, please DM me on Discord. Please, please, please. And then we'll figure it out from there. That's... There's no way you could think like that. You are right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. Cyberpunk D&D campaign. Great, I'm only seven subs away. Me, got it. And then my counter decides to not count two of them. It's great. We're having a good time here. Um, yeah, uh, Jade is interested in maybe doing a cyberpunk campaign. Uh, or, like, making us one and DMing it. But we, we shall see. We shall see. That. Yeah. Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Is that foreshadowing? What character says something slightly ominous? Me. Is that foreshadowing? <laughs> a body has been discovered. Fastback, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to the Hacker Rat Den. Everyone else is going to get sick of me hearing about my burnt chicken tenders in the kitchen, but there's burnt chicken tenders in the kitchen if you would like a snack. There's plushies upstairs, and apparently there's a car outside my window. Um, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, this is our first playthrough, so please no spoilers. Content and trigger warnings are okay, though, when we are getting close to triggering content warning e events. Uh, my anxiety, I don't think so. Pass on the campaign. That's fair, that's fair. <sighs> I mean, we might do it, like, as, like, a stage thing. I'll DM for y'all. Uh, happy to be here. Yeah, we're happy to have you here, friend. Um, can we do joke trigger warnings? No. No joke trigger warnings, please. Um... I'll DM for y'all very happily. Anyway, I never finished this game, so let's see how crazy it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Uh, no joke trigger warnings, please and thank you. Um, we get it. You burned your chicken tenders. <laughs> Listen, I was mad that I burnt my chicken tenders, okay? I was very upset about it. Uh, because the outsides were burnt, but the insides were not cooked. <laughs> and I was, like, trying not to kill myself, all right? And no spoilers. Who burned the tendies? I did. Me. My pan. Um, 
Also, this is one of my favorite games. Well, this is my first time playing one of your favorite games. So, and also the community voted on it, too. Um, because I'm trying to, like, go through my Steam library. So, I thought the chicken tenders were pre-cooked. No! Mm-mm. Mm-mm. These were from scratch. Whoever is waiting for the Brian voice message, it is worth it. <laughs> oh, thank you for a stretcher, Dean. Jade, I asked, for, I gave Brian two prompts because I wasn't sure if the first one was too promo-y or not. Um, so I gave him two prompts. I gave him one, like, welcoming people to the hacker at den um, to be the new raid message or the raid alert. And then I gave him a second one of like, okay, like this is just in case, like a backup of like Connor being angry at a video game being fucky wucky. So like, we'll see what happens. So I have no idea what I'm getting. <laughs> Grimes who screws up chicken tenders. Yeah, this is my first time burning my chicken tenders. <laughs> I'm a sad excuse for adult. Thank you for the water redeem, by the way. And the stretcher redeem, Lex. Very glad to meet all these new friends tonight. Wow, amazing. And other friends who, like, I know from other places, like, new new. <laughs> She's got Android therapy. I have no regrets. <laughs> oh my god, I have eight DMs. <laughs> Gotta. I, I love y'all. I, I, I really do appreciate y'all. Don't let her fool you. Sarah so knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But. You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. I mean, we love free food. Who says no to free cupcakes? I was a college student for six years. We do not say no to free things, all right? Like, I, I, I can promise you that. <laughs> yes, and we are getting a new hype emote. I'm very excited, so I no longer have to use the Twitch pre-made hype emote. It's gonna be Connor. I'm very, very excited. Very, very excited. Uh, friendship. Friendship. I just had a reheated habanero burrito and just waiting for chaos that ensues. That is very fair. <laughs> I have no idea why, but I absolutely adore the blue lobster meme with the super loud organ music. I have no idea what meme you're talking about, Vaughn. I have no idea. Also, I don't know if I said hi, but hi, Vaughn. Hope you're doing well. I know it has other emotes. <laughs> just to let everyone know that plays it, Power Watch Tim is currently doing a mental health test with Oxford U and opting into it allows you to work towards customizable stuff. Ooh, interesting. That's very interesting. Especially cupcakes, yes. I might explode. <laughs> so I just tricked Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Excuse me. It's 3.35 now. I'm hungry. What the fuck is a dotler? Oh, there's like a Doppler effect. Doppler? No, that's Doppler. Oh, a Doppler. Oh, a Doppler. You were talking about a Pokemon. I thought you were talking about like the Doppler effect or some shit. <laughs> or Doppler radar. And I was like, Fasana, what are you talking about? Oh, I think that's like from Gen 7 or Gen 8. I don't remember though. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sawyer in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh, is it a spitball? Can't? Ow! What was... A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Oh my god. Someone throw cookies at me. I want cookies. Galar, yes. It evolves into a spaceship bug. <laughs> oh, is it? No, it does not evolve into Vikavolt. That's another Pokemon. Um, yeah. Do poke a start and then get your starter. Want to go into chaos mode first thing in the morning? Smoke a bowl... While you brew coffee, drink coffee with a smoke, take a nap, then chug a C4 and go recycle 12 trash bags full of cans. That, I mean, I have different ways I go into goblin mode. That is not one of them. Oh, you got Rowlet! Oh, Rowlet's cutie. A cutie! Sorry glances around. I is this a miracle? It's because I paid my resti restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blabber about cupcakes. It's totally worth seeing your reaction now. N Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. I see it evolves into Orbeetle, yes. Can I name my starter? Um, if you're in, if you're on desktop, 
down below there's a panel for the Pokemon community game. You might be able to name your rename your starter. I'm not sure though. But you can always try in there. 99 daddles a deer on the wall. 99 daddles a deer. You take one down, pass it around, you got 99 98 daddles a deer on the wall. <laughs> God, Yolfador. Sayuri is kind of just me. I don't, I don't know which one I am. Oh, you got a Tepig. Nice. I ran over a deer on my way home tonight. Oh, no. It was already dead, hence ran over and not hit it. Truck and I are both fine. Okay, good. Glad the truck and yourself are okay. Sorry for the deer, though. Even though it was already dead. Sayori hugs the cookie. I mean, if a coworker slapped me on the face of the cookie, I would also hug the cookie. Just saying. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears up the wrapping paper and tapes a big bite. So good. Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Also a mood. Also a mood. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why did you think I gave you that one? Fine. So I'm really happy you shared this one with me. Sarah gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Jeez! I get it, I get it! Cook is still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Um. Sayori so suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie! Oh, I see what you did there, girl. I got slapped in the face of the cookie in high school. How scandalous. The only way someone wouldn't die for touching my face is that they slapped me with the cookie. <laughs> yeah, I, I want my, my coworker that I share my office with to just, like, throw a cookie at me. <laughs> Has to get around my computer first, though. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're all such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. I really like whoever the purple girl is. Like, I am so gay for her hello. Oh, her, her name is Yuri. I'm trying to romance her, because we love Yuri, and she's really cute. Yes, Yuri is purple. We love her. Where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Oh, she's talking about maybe having a date. Talk. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Yuri, ironically, girlfriend material named Yuri. It was freshman year and I was complaining that I was hungry and my best friend threw a cookie at my face. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm super late. Ah, ah, there you are. Didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Haha. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. A pianist? I might have to change my romance now. Considering. Considering. <laughs> Jew fool flavor update. Crash Bandicoot. Ooh, thank you for the water, Eugene. Yes, voice acting takes a toll on my throat. Part of me was hoping this would be voiced over, but it's fine. <laughs> At least there's only Monica, my beloved. I also punched a grapefruit out of candy cane. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, Monica, my beloved. Piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I also want. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. Put yourself out with that water. 
love characters who play piano. Mari, Monica. I mean, I don't like, uh, who the fuck was the older main character in V3? Komade. No, not Komade. That's Nagito. Um, Kamara? No. Kaede. Ultimate Pianist did not like her. Plays Kara's theme. Yeah, Glow and I are, Glow and I are uh, doing a, gonna be doing a thing. Gonna be doing a thing. Be doing a thing. If you haven't seen on my Twitters yet, that little, 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 the little planet diddly thing that I did with Kara's theme. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's gonna happen at some point. Probably next year. <laughs> Hey, so I'm gonna turn Sky in this thing. How many tech points to get John Cena sound redeem? No. Incorrect. Never. I I don't I'm not on the John Cena train. I think it's overdone. <laughs> Personally. I just dabble in piano. Perfectly placed in the Hall of the Mountain King Black Mini version. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not the only one in existence who knows what Black Mini files were. I obsessed over black mini files when i was a junior in high school i obsessed so hard over those i literally like that it was good thank you thank you my tone on my throat a was so bad so bad um but it just gets better because like the more i played it the better like, i could tell like my tone was getting just by like getting back into it but it takes time Great. next year because of transposing me haha <laughs> yeah because of transposing <laughs> <laughs> well, more like transcribing, not transposing. I'm gonna be so busy around the holidays. That's fair. That's very fair. Um, we'll do it on our own time. I mean, I'm gonna have to learn those arpeggios in the beginning. <laughs> those are bad. Um, I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Gray. Monica smiles sweetly while sticking out her ass. Same. That was the only music I listened to for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Same. I vibe with that. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I really have the chance to share once I'm ready. Excuse me. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thank you. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischief mischievous escapade. I'm sure, Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. To come out of the closet? At some point? These ads are killing the continuity for me this stream. Can we not complain about ads? Can we not complain about them, please? Because, like... It's how I can get, like, my two cents off of Twitch. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to have ads, but, like... I Two cents! <laughs> Two cents! <laughs> that word immediately took me back to Aristocats. Everybody! Everybody! Everybody wants to be a cat! Uh, that's like the only Disney song that I'm openly admitting to liking a lot. <laughs> or the movie. I remember really liking the movie as a kid. Uh, I can play music by ear. I figured out how to play cups on piano in about an hour. Uh, let the ads happen because, babes, it's money. <laughs> Yeah, I try, I think it's like I only have them like every hour or 45 minutes or something, but it's like short ads. Like, Twitch is doing like this thing, like if you do like, like three minute ads, like every like 45 minutes, then you'll get like 55% more revenue. And I'm like, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm 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 not doing that shit, mm-mm, mm no. I'm a guitarist and a drummer, by the way. Oh, that's really cool. I want to learn how to play guitar, but I had a really shitty guitar teacher in college who didn't really teach us shit. <laughs> um, I, I would love to learn how to play guitar. I, I listen to a lot of acoustic indie along with video game soundtracks, so I would love to learn, to learn guitar to play acoustic tracks, but I just, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, piano for me just, like, fits better with my thingy, with my thingies. Um, yeah, I can also play music by ear. Um, I have perfect pitch. Humble brag, I have perfect pitch. Are we just gonna be a cyberpunk fan in cyberpunk d, &D? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna make my character an android-esque person. Watch me make my character come- <gasps> No! Wait! No! Wait! No, wait! 
Wait. Oh my god, I can use my Detroit Become Human OC. <gasps> Ryland, baby! Oh, my sweet child! Oh, yes. My classmates from high school, Mike Dudd, started a band, I think. Oh, cool! Yeah, there's a few people from college I know who started bands. Um, but we were all music majors, so it makes sense. Um, the only time I've complained about ads was when I went into a friend's stream and had, like, three ads play back to back to back, and then I was like, dear Twitch, please recognize I already saw the ads, but also muns for friends. That's fair. So, if you want to play music-themed TTRPG, Gods of Ragnarok is on its way in all music theme. Ooh! Interesting. Well, I don't really play turn-based tabletop RPGs, really. Uh, not in a band because I suck. Oh, I don't, th I don't think you suck, my friend. Um, I'm gonna make a space pirate for this campaign. <laughs> I'm so here for this. I also have a D Detroit Become Human OC named Caleb. I drew him in the D DG Discord. Tell us about your OC. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to play a game here. <laughs> I do not mind conversation. Let me play a little bit of the game first, then then we'll we'll talk about my own see. I have a farmer lined up for this. Oh my god, I love that. Love that for you. Hey Yuri. Huh? Uh I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Well, 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 how the turntables. Totally not inspired by Captain Space Boyfriend, my beloved. <laughs> oh my god. Oh the character from Amori. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, oh, no. I was just kind of waiting for you. Ah, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in as the teacher's desk, then we'll get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Huh? Where are you two off to? I can't get Monica's voice. I'm so sorry. Uh, doing some calibrations. Did you see my clip when I fought Space X husband? I don't know. Did you post it on Hover? I don't know if you still use Hover. Um, I love lack of context. <laughs> Glow, feel free to send it in. Send it to me or in the Discord. I don't care. We're just Yuri was gonna make some tea, so I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? I mean, it's safe to go in numbers. Safety in numbers, people. It's scary outside. That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to tell that there's something wrong with helping involve... With helping involve Gray in club activities? Uh? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Let's go, Gray. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Maka, let's flirt with Yuri. Uh, basically, he starts as Captain Space Boy, then Space Boyfriend, then Space Ex Boyfriend, and then then Space Husband, and then Space Ex Husband, and it's all with the with the same girl. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Maka, let's flirt with Yuri. Yes. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How can I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that makes me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to just judge people like that. Gray. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because. Nothing that you did is bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect! da 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 yeah, this is what happens when you come to my stream. I just sing random clips from different songs, and I don't know the rest of the song. How do you go from Space X to Space Husband? Actually, that makes sense for men. <laughs> I DM'd you the clip, lol. She was gonna marry herself, and then he shows up and proposes, lol. 
Oh my god, that's a power- that's a power move to marry yourself. That's also a power move for him to show up and, like, propose. <laughs> Amori is a time, oh my god. We have emotions, we can't always hide them away. We always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain sh shower into a hurricane. Ah, I'd rather marry myself than a man. I mean, I would love a masculine identifying partner. I would love that. But, like, polyamory also looks kind of interesting. <laughs> what are we talking about? A uh, space ex-husband who was space husband. There's a lone shark that's a literal shark. <laughs> that is- oh my god, that is- that's like- that's the equivalent to, like, Phoenix Wright games, where, like, they make the names punny. Glow, were you here when we, uh, almost finished the first trial of the second game in Great Ace, and the- 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 the reporter guy is Many Memo? Were you here for that? Cause me figuring out, like, it was Many Memos was like, that was- that was a time. That was a trip. Hell yes, probably him is a nice one done thoughtfully. If a man marries himself, does he marry a man or just himself? Me, a bisexual. His men. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> God, it, it was good. It was good, though. Polly is great. I'm interested in Polly. Uh, if I find the right people, I will participate in Polly. Or tr at least try it. Um, I, I fear that I will have very jealous tendencies, but, like, I'm not, like... I'm not gonna let that stop me from, like, trying. How? Would you, wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? You can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say. Um. Yuri lifts her head. Gray. I really like being friends with you. Uh, thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the pitcher, we return to the classroom. The motherfucker with the ink stain on his hand. Yeah, for real. What's your fave Ace Attorney pun name? Oh, goodness. I like the guy from the original trilogy, the, the original prosecutor guy that you faced during the tutorial sequence, who's like, something pain. I love- that name always got me. That was a fun name. Um, jealousy is a valid emotion, not necessarily a bad thing. What matters is how you handle the jealousy. I'm partial to- Diedman. I I don't think I know that one. I'm way too jealous for Polly. I dated a Polly guy once who happened to not mention he was Polly. That is bad Polly. That is bad Polly. These kittens are killing me. We have cats. Winston Payne. Yeah, yes, Winston Payne, my beloved. <laughs> once I fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. I will fight him. That was trash on his part. You gotta be open and honest about it. You gotta. It's not Polly, that's cheating. Yeah, that's cheating. Gray, do you like oolong tea? Yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. Shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert, in, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> in that case, you'll only be more impressed. <coughs> Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri is such a freaking cutie. We love her. Dead man. Oh! Okay, dead man. Got it. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. By surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would like to try expressing myself a bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. Once well, who you're around, anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Gray. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Gray, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? So we, what, we could spoon? What's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely be because of my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. Yeah, it, it was Booba's 
It was Boobas. It was Boobas. Anyway, I'm gonna go play some VR for a bit. If you end stream before I'm back, have a good night. Bye, Ash! Have fun in VR! We appreciate you, Ash! Me. Doesn't consent to his other girlfriends. Him. Polyphobe. Ew. Dumps. Ugh. Nuke dropped. Fucking romaine lettuce. <laughs> romaine lettuce! Oh my god! <laughs> spoon with Yuri. What? You don't want a spoon? Bitches. Oh god, I have nine plus notifications on Discord. This is so funny. This is so good. Y'all are great. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. We're probably going to end soon, not because, like, it's getting late or anything, because it is getting late, but also my voice is starting to tire. Salmonella, my personal- <gasps> Salmonella, oh my god! Grant has such a good clip of him voicing Salmonella. Oh my god, it is so good. So fucking good. Mr. Detective, Detective, Detective. <laughs> Herlock Shell. Hello, I've been hanging from the chandelier this entire time. I'm surprised you didn't notice. It's my favorite, like, non-line that I've ever done with Sholmes. Oh, I'm not clicked into the game. That's why. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve my book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Where? Why? I mean, considering this is me in a game, yeah, it makes sense. It tracks. It tracks. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. Take it since it'll go well with the tea. Does chocolate go well with tea? I'm assuming it depends on the tea, but like, does it go well with tea? I don't drink tea, if you can't tell. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to one another. I can't see too well. Yuri sides closer until our shoulders are touching. Ooh! How scandalous! Ah! How scandalous. Our shoulders are touching. Wow, amazing. It does not- it makes tea tasteless. It goes amazing with coffee. Mmm, yes, I can- I can picture that. No, no, don't- don't convince me to get Starbucks tomorrow. That just makes me want to go to Starbucks tomorrow and go get- a java chip frappuccino when I really shouldn't. <laughs> How am I supposed to focus reading like this? Yours are so kind of cute, but depends on the tea and the chocolate. Mm, very true. I had uh, Nutella flavored tea before. It's very not good. <laughs> when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't actually touch her chest. Oh god, this is even more scandalous. My favorite attorney name, Inga Karkul Hakod. What? How the fuck do you pronounce that? Inga Karkul. Karkul. Hakod. Disnarm. Disnam. By Hani. Laga. Ormo. Pompous. Denit. How could this name be any longer or more pompous than it already is? Well, I'm going to Starbucks tomorrow and grab a mocha, but if you really don't want anything. I mean, if you're buying, then I will take it. <laughs> if you're buying, I'll take it. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. Use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the page. Ah, oh, you're right. Didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Look how pretty she is! Oh, she pretty. Sorry, tomorrow, because it's 3.52 in my legs. I'm going to Starbucks in a few hours. Starbucks is on me. Bet, even though it's gonna be like 12 a.m. for me. 
Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have to any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. A cute angel. Look at her eyes. Her eyes are so pretty. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. Then I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lip as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively put the chocolate in her mouth. How is this a psychological horror? I have questions. <laughs> I have I have a lot of questions right now, and I don't think we're answering them tonight. She looks like a little a little like Comey from Comey Can't Communicate. I, I I wouldn't know. I don't know what that is. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Gray, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, that's... well... Y you were just helping. That's something that... friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. And... You don't need to stop or anything. I see. The situation has gotten really tense. We might need to call reinforcements, everybody. We might need the tanks to come in. We, we might need Caboose. Or, or Freckles, perhaps. Just wait, bestie. Mmm. Mmm. I, I don't think we're gonna get to it tonight. I think all, all the all the bad juju's gonna happen next week. <laughs> Great, another week for me to panic. <laughs> uh, flirting. Just wait, though. I just noticed your hand. Yuri tries to return to the book. I can tell just by your expression that you can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. I am here for that, um, Gray. I'm actually really allergic to this. <laughs> How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of our breaths. I raise my arm. Ah. Like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Why is this, like, softcore porn? Okay, everyone! <laughs> the sudden music cut. The sudden cut in the music, excuse me. <laughs> Gently touch. Touch. Ayo, why are you looking at her chest, though? Yeah, why are you looking down here? My eyes are up here. She's got pretty eyes. You don't need to look down here. Here we go. Here we go with what? Um. Okay, guys, we're gonna end stream right here. <laughs> Could I save the game? I'm just gonna cry a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> um, I'm a tad scared. I, I I'm a little scared now. <laughs> Lex, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> do I need to be prepared for something? <laughs> I really hate how ominous y'all are being right now. Oh my god, this is not helping. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember if this is the bit, but just in case. But just in case what? Y'all's trigger warning, self-harm cutting. Okay. Thank you for the warning. Um, is there jump scares going to happen? Like, is there going to be loud, sudden loud noises, jump scares? Anything like that about to happen, about to transpire? Also, if you think this is a good stopping point, let me know. Not because I'm scared. Not jump scares yet. Yuri's such an outcome, to be honest. I got spoiled by that one. No jump scares, I don't think. I'm gonna wait to see what chat says. If y'all think this is a good stopping point. Because I... It's been a while since I played the game. That's fair. Um, 
because I don't want to get too deep into this section and like have to go on for like another half hour. Because I also don't know how far we are into the game. Because I want to like try to split it equally. I've literally never played this game. Yeah. This is a good stopping point. Okay. Okay, I already saved. Um, alright. So if Lex says this is a good stopping point, then I'm trusting Lex. Because I trust Lex. This is a good stopping point. And, and Glow. Alright, I may agree with Lex. Alright, let's... Um... What is this? Mostly fry- Wh What is this? Oh, this might be- Cause I have Doki Doki Plus. That might be what this is. I think it's Doki Doki Plus. Yeah, that was Doki Doki Plus. Because I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Plus. So that might be, like, the additional menu content. I think that's what that is. Yeah, I, I was a tad confused as well, friends. I was a little bit confused as well. Um, it's mostly fresh in my mi memory from Game Grumps. That's fair. All right. So let's go pick somebody to raid. Woohoo! Metaverse sucks watching. <laughs> All right. Let's see who can raid tonight. Um... God, I am dying from heat once more. Um, I've read someone else is playing Doki Doki, but I'm afraid of spoilers, you know? Um, I gotta go hop in the shower, but have a good night. Bye, Glow. Thank you for hanging out, friend. Excuse me. Um, there is a couple people playing Detroit. Detroit. If you raid me, it'll just be me calling kittens for four hours. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. Um, I mean, we can raid over to D Lovely again, who is playing some more Detroit. We raided her last week. So I'm fine raiding her again. If you do do- I am not sleeping tonight. Oh, okay. I- I want you to sleep. I want you to sleep. So we're not gonna do that. We- we want Nudu to sleep. So we're not gonna do that. We will raid, um, Raven, who is playing Stardew Valley. Uh, so we'll raid over to her. Them. Her. Them. Them. I don't remember what pronouns are. Um, kitten cuddling stream? Um, I do not have cats. But thank you for thinking of that. All right. But thank you all for hanging out with me tonight and keeping me company. Um, thank you for the gifted subs and the subs and the bits and the follows and the raids. I, I appreciate all of that. Um, just trying to be a cool little streamer over here with the cl inclusive community and all that good shit. Woohoo! Thank you for being my impulse control. You're welcome. <laughs> I love your stream. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you, friend. I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go read over to Raven, who's playing some Stardew Valley, um, so hopefully that'll be chill and help you go to bed. <laughs> um, but yes, um, uh, I did the raid message, um, uh, if you're not in the Discord already, the Discord is where you will get notified when I am going live. Speaking of going live, my schedule is as follows. So Thursday will be some more, um, vampire, and I will buy those vampire fangs tomorrow while at work. Um, Friday, depending on Grant's schedule, we will either be playing some more Great Ace Attorney with Grant, or we will be playing a random game. Not sure what that'll be yet. Um, will probably be something random from my Steam library, to be completely honest with you. Um, then Sunday, we will turn with more Cyberpunk 2077, and then next Monday... Do I work evenings? I work me evenings next Monday, so we'll actually be on Tuesday of next week. Um, we will continue with more Doki Doki. But that is all. My name is Aaron Gray, Quit Variety Streamer, signing off.